all right so what is going on today youtube we are going in with some cosmo true kings now this deck uh cosmos were uh, requested by um my random ix but he said he's still doing some testing so well, while we wait for his list to come in we're going to be playing some cosmo true kings because uh yeah that's the first thing i found and look at this hand this hand is very good can't use this because these are all light and dark so we need to get hmm actually this one is very bad uh hmm actually no it's not what am i talking about we can go ahead and activate this young terraforming and we can get us a uh, uh what's the name the uh one of diagram because this is ocg but um i did make a couple of changes this deck is from Yu-Gi-Oh tube that's his name of his channel so definitely go check him out because he is the one who uh <clears throat> he's the one who built this deck uh so i mean yeah shout out to him all right so what i can do is i can pop him and i can add one non-win worm monster there we go that's actually going to be pretty good so what we can do there is add that with that and then use true draco phoenix to add another earth and then this one special summons from the graveyard so not only can we start off with a vfd we can also hit two different cosmos and trigger both their effects so actually we only can hit one cosmo don't 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 listen to what i'm saying all right so what we can do here is since we already have the forerunner what we're going to do is get rid of eclipser and we're going to get rid of uh the um <clears throat> the true king of lithogasm because it doesn't new doesn't really do anything in my hand we're going to special summon it uh we're going to trigger both effects um and then the effect we really want is the true king because that's going to uh allow us to um do some good play so right here we're going to grab a tin can because that's just cool it's just really cool uh, and then we can special summon this right in defense mode like i said we can we're going to end with vfd and we're going to get a, a bunch of cards so let's go ahead and activate this cosmo town right quick and then with this cosmo town we can definitely uh return a banished monster to our hand which is dark eclipser and then we can normal summon the tin can we, we're doing pretty good i really think that um Cosmos really have a I mean since they you don't really have to use the extra deck I think this deck is just really really good. I mean, it's like you don't really get hurt by a lot of things I don't know. I think it has three thousand. I think it's three thousand both ways Okay, yeah, thank God because I was about to fuck up What I'm going to do here is just so we can get some more other we can uh, actually get some more cards We you know, we just might as well just shuffle to and look we've drawn to a land walker, which is pretty good and a uh, young straw man so what we're going to do right now is going to end our turn going to pay the young 500 <clears throat> um yeah we're going to do that one pay 500 and then i we were going to reveal three different ones so space shuttle is cool that doesn't mind being in the graveyard uh this is also cool uh forerunner and then we can just go ahead and get try to get slip rider because it is at three and it's a good card to just have as a backup because you can do a bunch of things with that. So let's see what we get here and we can go from that. And Cosmos may be a good pick because um, they, what, Dark Destroyer got limited, uh, I don't know, a couple, a couple of lists ago. So whenever we do get the new list, I think Dark Destroyer has a chance to go up. And I think it's relatively cheap. I, I've been looking to get some, but you know, I can't really find it. A lot of people just don't want to sell it and they're trying to hold off on it. But uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> and speaking of the fan list, man, I thought about something the other day. Uh, why would they wait? You know, why, why are they waiting so long to, uh, okay, we got a, four, a forerunner, that's okay. Uh, why are they waiting for long, so long with the, oh no, thank God. Um, and then here, what we can do, it doesn't really matter. We can just attach this one. Um, Oh no, we should have attached the other one. Let's just call, what's a good deck in the format today? Let's call lights, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, nope, don't need to chain that as of right now. Uh, wait, your opponent's card, right? Okay, yeah, my opponent's possession. Okay, I was about to say, if this, uh, okay, yeah, see, look. All right, so it should have, well, it didn't really matter. There's nothing else we can do about it. Let's see, what we, oh, dimensional fissure. Um, oh, that doesn't really stop Cosmos, but I guess you can't attack, correct? I believe you can't attack. Yeah, they can't attack. So, but we can just use this. 
Oh my god, this is this is awful for him. He's actually gonna He's actually gonna end up losing because of that. <laughs> because, like the cards I'm trying to add with the tin can, that's gonna get banished. And then like Yeah, so we can definitely get um This one stops traps, right? So we definitely want either that um, a Dark Destroyer or a Slip Rider. I think we can do good with any of these. Uh, because everything else gets banished so I can use Cosmo Town and put it back in my hand. Or if I get it with if I get like a Slip Rider right now, we can just banish, pop this. Like I said, we also, we also have Straw Man to get literally everything. Yeah, we, we're probably going to OTK this, man. And we get a Dark Destroyer. That is just amazing. Um, and you know what? We might as well do it right now. Drop the Dark Destroyer. This game is over. This is, and it's untargetable. So, like, it, there's a lot of shit that targets nowadays. Like the Tree King shit. They they, they can't get over that. Uh, like masterpiece and stuff. They can't. And we drawn to another strongman, which is just just amazing. Yeah, we're gonna return the Banished Monster to our hand. We're gonna return this guy because we really don't care about if it's a spell or not. Okay, well, yeah, there's just nothing else to do. All right, this game is over. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look how many... This deck is really busted. This deck is really busted. We could either shuffle back all four and get... Um, <clears throat> we draw extra... I mean, draw another four cards. Um, yeah, this game is over. This We're just not even going to continue to do too much. We're going to just go to attack. Um, yeah, so we can uh, possibly get another duel? I don't know. We, we're boarding on... Yeah, we're going to get one more duel. Hopefully this man quits because this deck really does put a lot of damage. You're not really hurt by Lynx. And, if, and the fact that they're like untargetable big-ass monsters. I mean, it, it's a very good pick. It's a very good pick. Um, I definitely, if you guys can't pick up like a Cosmo Core. Like this, uh, the, the max already. Not the low ready so you guys can make some money. Be right back. Hopefully we can get one more duel. All right, so we are going up against one, two, three. Let's see what one, two, three can do against this bustedness. And we have opened up so fucking good. So good, folks. We have opened up so good. I think he's going to be a little upset. Um, see, we can give him a Cosmo Town. But um, since we um, we have access to a Cosmo Town with this, actually, we can start off with a Cosmo Town. No. Let's, let's just give him Gateway of Chaos. Oh, wait. He's playing no extra deck. So... He definitely might be playing True Dracos, so we definitely don't want to give him any type of uh, good things. Um, so what we can do here is destroy this to add a... What would I add? Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't know what we're going to add here. Uh, let's see. Oh, he has a Ghost Ash. That is fine. I don't care about a Ghost Ash. Uh, and then we can just normal summon this because I'm pretty sure he's playing True Dracos. Uh, and then we can just end our turn or we no, we know we don't want to lose we don't want to lose our diagram yet that's because we're at one and ooh, i gotta remember to turn off that ignore chain because that will fuck us up but since this is only at one we can't really do anything right now see like he I'm, i know he's playing true dracos now um probably should preemptively do this <laughs> probably should preemptively use the straw man but uh i think all right um Oh, he's ending his turn. Never mind. Um, oh, don't need to do that now. Oh, since he... Oh, my God. Look at the True Draco Phoenix. All right. So, what we can do... This adds a non-win. All right. So, once again, we can do this. You can see if we can get... Is another Ash Blossom? Is it another Ash Blossom? Let's see. Let's see. Or is he going to quit? Is 1, 2, 3 going to quit? Because... Oh, actually, he might be playing Chain Burn. I just thought about that. Well, like I said, the Dark Eclipser is going to do work. So, <clears throat> that's not really going to be a problem for us. So, let's see what he do too. We can just easily get rid of this to search the Earth. And then use this to search another Earth. And then now we can trigger our Earth. Earth is going to get this back to the grave. And then we can go into the Sky Castle. Wait, what is it called? Prison? What is it called? Phantom Fortress. I keep getting this completely wrong. Uh, and you can easily see that it's a fucking fortress on the board, so that's the stuff. Um, it doesn't really matter if. Wait, what does this one do? You special them from the deck. That's cool and all, but it doesn't really matter, huh? So we can add this one and then add another one of this. 
and then you can special them from the deck which is the earth but it doesn't really matter which one we get <clears throat> because everything is going to be pretty much the same effect uh, we definitely have to add the earth though I know that for sure definitely have to add the earth and then we can just get this back um, I don't know if they I think they summon in defense mode so can't really extend our plays too much uh, I think right now we get rid of the forerunner Max, you sack of shit. Um, sure. You know what? I don't care. Let's get rid of the Forerunner. Because we're going for it. Macro Cosmos. You bastard. Um, that fucking hurt, actually. No, it didn't. It doesn't hurt at all. I think we still have game here. Oh, wait. Pop this and this. I think we still have game. Yeah, I don't think Macro... Is we playing the same exact... Wow, are you kidding me? Holy shit. I didn't know that triggers. Damn, dog. <laughs> Damn, oh my god. Yeah, this game is over, bro. This game is over. We're going to special summon this guy. We're going to special summon our forerunner. That's foul. I didn't know the true kings. Damn, that's enough for game, huh? Yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Attack for 500. Hopefully we don't run into a mirror force or something. Jesus Christ. I did not know that shit triggered. Alright, so here is the deck list. Once again, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube's uh, deck list. So definitely go check him out. You will see more plays with that. Since we're, we're not too familiar. I know the Cosmos, but the True Kings, I, I clearly did not know that these, these don't even trigger when they're in. That is stupid as hell. <clears throat> Alright. Well, anyways. Uh... Yeah, man, uh, that's it for today, and I will see you guys in a couple more hours. If you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask is if you guys can click an ad, and that'll be enough for me. So thank you, and see you in a couple hours.